Hello again. So I have been wanting to talk about this for a while. Um, didn't quite know how to approach it, what to talk about, how to put it and everything. And to be quite honest, this still may be rambly as fuck. And I apologize. I have recorded several videos already and just didn't like them. Um, I made a few notes. Maybe this will keep me on track. So the topic for this video is... Um, why I left Twitter, why I left trans, uh, trans, <laughs> you will find out why that is funny in a minute, why I left detrans activism, and why I am no longer involved in any of that business anymore. So to put it really quick, short and sweet. Um, before I ramble on for really too long. The reason I left Twitter is because, first of all, we all know Twitter is quite the dumpster fire. Um, and it was just, it was, it was, ups there was so much input about so many things that were pissing me off that I just was like, fuck it. I don't want to see this shit anymore. And the shit that I'm talking about is basically that um, I realized but nothing's going to change. Um, uh, trans ideology is not going anywhere. Transition's not going anywhere. Um, all these people out here putting all their effort and, and everything into um, whatever they think they're putting their effort into. I, I honestly have no idea at this point. But basically, I saw, I saw, I saw that it was going nowhere and um, gc movement um trans trans critical uh, gender critical like whatever you want to call it um they are missing the vast majority of them are missing the big picture missing the root cause and um they are going to fix absolutely nothing And I was like, well, ain't that some, ain't that some shit? <laughs> and I just got, I was very disappointed about it and then decided, you know what? I'm not going to be a part of this shit show anymore because um, some things that I saw that really disturbed me was um, this idea that Sometimes, and for some people, transition is okay. And actually, more than okay, perfectly reasonable thing to do. And um, if you say that, that if you accept that transition is okay for some, then you basically accept that uh, transition and trans ideology is okay for all. You do. You just what's what, what you're saying. You cannot say it's okay for some and not others. Because who draws those? Who draws those lines? Who um who who clarifies what makes it okay and what doesn't make it okay? Um, I knew a, a, I knew a detransition woman who, who said, you know, uh, as long as transition is an option, people will really never try to do any better. Transition can't be an option or that's what people are going to do because transition is easy. Um, it is much easier to transition and think you're going to become a new person and a pretty butterfly than it is to actually realize that life sucks. You have a lot of shit going on and you just have to deal with it and it's painful and you might always be uncomfortable, but um, it's going to take a lot of hard work to feel even a little bit better. People don't want that. People love fantasy. They like, obviously people love fantasy for fuck's sake. Look how many people still believe in religion. Like, 
you know, um, we don't like reality. So I think she's right. You know, as long as fantasy is, is, is a choice, humans are going to pick the fantasy before I go off on a philosophical tangent too much longer. Um, that's what really started frustrating me about the whole movement. You know, the whole movement basically, um, what are they trying to do? What are these organizations trying to do? What are these groups trying to do? What are these people trying to do? I guess they're trying to make sure that that youth transition doesn't happen. Um, I guess that's their only goal. It, it's what it seems like. And that's that's fine. It's great. Be upfront about it, though. Um, don't don't have, you know, uh, it confuses me that you that some of these organizations would have adult detransitioners and people who transitioned as adults, you know, come the platform us have us talk about all our traumas and lay our guts out on the table, only to then turn around and bring up a trans identified adult. Who said trans transition was excellent for them? I mean, make that make sense. Why is it okay for them, but it wasn't okay for us? Why did it not work for us, but it works for them? And by the way, no one can explain this either. The fucking shit they'll fall back on is, well, adults can make their own decisions. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, adults can, but the, the whole fucking point you seem to be missing is that um, adults just aren't making these decisions on their own. This is a fucking treatment. This is a treatment being prescribed by mental health professionals and prescribed by the medical community and supported by mental health professionals, supported and, and still supported by these organizations who claim to be gender critical. If you platform a trans-identified person You've just shot yourself in the foot. You're saying it's okay. And that frustrated the hell out of me. No, I am not nuanced on this. No, I am not a team player. No, <laughs> I am I am not in the gray area on this. It is black and white. Some things are. Some things absolutely are black and white. And... And transition is harmful. That is a fact. You cannot sit here and say that it's okay for some people to harm themselves and other people not to harm themselves. I really question somebody who says that it's okay for anybody to harm themselves, period. And so many gender criticals are saying that. So, so many are saying it's okay for people to hurt themselves. What's wrong with you people? Like, seriously. Like, I guess if anything else, it just made me, like, really discouraged in, like, humanity. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> you're basically saying that it's okay. You're like, you're cool with it. Like, it's okay. Go ahead. I'm okay with people hurting themselves. Um, And, yeah, I know. Well, adults will do what adults want to do, and adults should have the freedom to do what they want to do. Again, Yes, they do, but like adults aren't just doing this on their own, though. You know, like adults can do whatever the hell they want. Adults have like cosmetic surgery all the time and do stupid fucking shit and ruin their bodies, but they do it. They don't, they're not doing it with the support of like a whole fucking industry behind them. They're not doing it with the support of a community behind them. Like people are doing with, with transition. They're, you know, they're not doing it. We, as for treatment it's not a treatment okay these people go out and they do it to themselves Just knock yourself out you know if someone wants to like uh cut off body parts and and you know cut do cosmetic surgery till the cows come home to look like the sex they're not yeah an adult can do that knock yourself out i don't that's fine but like no nah, law you don't get to falsify your documents you don't get to get people to lie for you. You don't get to like, you know, 
the validation that what you did was correct and okay and healthy because it's not. And as, as a adult that went through this process, I stupidly thought that people were actually listening and come to find out people were not listening. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, you know, but I just decided, I, I decided, yeah, I'm going to get off this, this train, the next stop, I'm out of there, fuck it, um, I'm going to do my own thing, I'll, I have my YouTube channel, I'll talk what about whatever I want to there, I'll still be active, I guess, by just talking about the shit I, that, that I want to talk about it, it's my stuff, I will talk about it, my space, um, but I will not be a part of this GC movement who is basically not doing anything to solve anything. And um, yeah, I mean, you might get that uh, child transition banned. But here's the thing, folks. If you're saying something's okay to do, it's okay to do. It doesn't really matter. You're, you know, so you're, so your fucking 17 year old can't transition and then they turn 18 and they're still living in a world where you think it's okay for, you know, um, adults to hurt to do this shit to themselves. And you think it's okay for a treatment for some and you think it's okay and just completely normal um, self harm. And guess what? Your kid's going to turn 18 and they're going to go going to do it so like what did you fucking solve you solved absolutely nothing you're hoping that the, when the kid turns 18 they're not going to want to do it anymore me too i hope they don't um also the thing about kids is kids kids can sniff out bullshit really fast so if you tell a kid don't do this thing but then you're doing this thing and you're supporting other adults doing this thing guess what kids gonna call bullshit on you as they should as they should so um <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 bonkers completely bonkers it's not going to solve anything um you have to cut you got to cut the snake's head off you've got to get to the root of the pro root of the problem the root of the problem is that trans ideology the whole fucking ideology not just the most smoke and mirrors twisted point we've reached now where like sex doesn't exist like that's such a fucking low bar and the vast majority of people honestly don't even like buy into that no i mean gender ideology at the core which is at its core a, a misogynistic homophobic concept that somebody's the way somebody acts or feels or even has a gender dysphoria means that they um can go ahead and you know hurt themselves to look like the opposite sex without even you know understanding why they might want to do that you know like the core of gender ideology is is the idea that there are some people that need to do this that are better if they do this little uh little thing as i end here this whole this whole thing you know i've been thinking about this whole this whole idea like for a while that like you know i should make a video just kind of about just why i left and stuff like that um but what really prompted me now to do it was the whole um agp gate gen spec thing that's <laughs> just like i'm off twitter right so i probably didn't see most of what was going on but i saw it pop up on um people i follow on youtube and you know just in just in the world and i have contact with the transitioners off of twitter and uh and women feminists those horrible horrible feminists um <laughs> Oh my God, I have to say, I was not surprised. I was not surprised. I was disgusted. Uh, the picture gave me the creeps. I'll be quite honest. I was like, oh, no. 
right? Like I actually felt really, I felt very concerned about the young woman in the picture. I didn't, I didn't want her to be there. I didn't want her to be in that environment. I didn't want her standing next to that dude because I know what kind of dude that is. Sorry if that's hurtful, but it's the truth. Dude's creep. Um, yeah, I wasn't surprised. And that just got me thinking about like the whole reason I left. And I was like, there it is. Um, so anyways, that's why I don't participate in um, detrans activism or, you know, trans activism. Because honestly, I, I am, it, the further on it goes, the harder it's getting for me to like figure out what's the real difference here. It doesn't seem to be much difference at all. And so, yeah, I don't know. I would be curious if anybody can, you know, really lay out to me what the big vast difference is um, when you have like, you know, all these groups, people, organizations, writers, and everything supporting transition still, supporting trans ideology still, supporting um, trans identified people, validating trans identified people. So 